Hello art friends, it's Carolyn here. Today we are going to be making an art journal page using those sewn silhouettes. Do you remember these? I made a video a few weeks ago. I wasn't exactly sure what I would do with them, but today's page I got a couple of them out. I'm starting off on a homemade art journal that I had poured a bunch of watercolors on and then ultimately made a journal. Since there were so many blues in there, I pulled out my orange folder, which is full of painted orange paper. And if you're wondering, yes, I have a red one with red, blue, with blue, green, etc. So I am cutting out my silhouettes, trying to be inspired, not really sure what I'm going to do. I know I have this photo file that I put little scraps, bits and pieces of things in to pull out when I need to add some ephemera or layers to my piece. So I, I do quite a bit of playing around, just putting pieces here and there, seeing if anything sticks out. I, I, I liked the orange behind the figures to give it some contrast. So I started laying down a base of washi tape and I just showed you one of my new favorites is this Vincent Van Gogh tape. So I'm laying just different ones kind of to prepare a base for my figures to, to be on top of. There's that Van Gogh Starry Night. I love that one. Again, playing around a little bit more auditioning this is a great thing about collage is you can audition pieces move them around before you actually glue them down Somewhere along the way, I decided that I was going to tear up this piece of orange, dominant orange painted paper and create a cityscape behind my people. A story is emerging here. I, I felt like my silhouettes were somehow coming together, thus the, the heart cutout, which was done using my little Sizzix machine and a die cut. So I, my city is very, very abstract. I'm, I'm drawing on some windows just so you can tell it's a city. And I have my round um, moon is actually a tea or a coffee filter. I have this device called an AeroPress. That's kind of like a French press that you put your coffee grounds and hot water through and press, press it through to get your coffee. And I love them. I love using them in my mixed media work. Adding a little bit more washi tape here just to extend that base over. And since my figures are a little bit more texturized, I did use that golden extra heavy gel to put them down. I felt like I needed something more, so I cut out these little half circle rings and again, having the ring on one figure and the other ring on the other kind of just somehow tricks your brain to know that they are coming together my here's my heart cut out and die cut and I just decided it needed some bling so I'm getting out my embossing powder and I don't know if you guys have used this I'm, I haven't used it a whole lot but it's kind of cool you use some tacky kind of ink like glue Sprinkle your embossing powder on it, heat it up with a heat gun, and you get a metallic look. It's pretty fabulous. I wasn't happy with how dark my figures were, even though I thought they were silhouettes. I experimented with a few things here. I masked off everything around them. I tried some splatter paint with a different a couple different types of white paint uh, this PH Martin's one is is 
pretty awesome for getting a more opaque white. But in the end, I, it just wasn't quite getting it there for me, so I did end up just uh, taking a paintbrush and paint it in the figures, which I was pretty happy with. Oh yeah, I also took this piece of red painted paper and cut little red hearts. hope you enjoyed today's video please remember to hit that like and if you haven't subscribed already I'd love it for you to subscribe and see more videos made by me thank you